All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. This guy has one of the best abilities to take a shot that I have ever seen in all my years of commentating on fights. His chin is truly world class. Well, Bruce Lee was quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, Good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ryan Lockland! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch them up, and we are underway. Here we go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's well, go. how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one-night tournament. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. He's tagging with the right hand there. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Oh, head kick! Vicious combinations. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Beautiful kick there. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Hit him with the jab. LaFleur gets caught by the inside leg kick. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Beautiful kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, good kicks. 
Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Big punch. Remain in round one. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Beautiful leg kick. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. The flare gets caught with that punch. Under two minutes to go. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Jab to the head by Lee. Finds his range with the jab. LaFleur gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. And he eats a kick. Oh, beautiful technique on the hook. Going to the body there with the right kick. LaFlair's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Oh! Oh, clipped him with the jab. Superman punch lands, Joe. You can tell he's worked on that. And there he swung with the haymaker. Oh! Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Couldn't agree with you more. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Lands to the body. Sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Let's take a look at it again here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Big round. Great, okay? the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp. Don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at, we're st Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. There you go, second round. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, so second round getting underway here. Competitive first round, Joe. Not necessarily a round of the year per se, but high level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes. Nice defense there, huge block. Inside leg kick is there by Lee. Try to establish that jab.
Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Exactly. Oh, he landed it. Flair's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Wow. Nice roundhouse kick lands. LaFleur's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Body kick is blocked. He got tagged there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Going to the body there with the right kick. Good defense there. Misses again with a right punch. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Under two minutes now to go. And he eats a right hand there. Just missed with a huge kick. Check that one. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by LaFleur. Oh! Under a minute to go here in our second round. Kick lands for him there. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. The flare gets caught with that punch. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh, tagged him. Two rounds in the book. Stop! All right, let's take a seat. Deep breath. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. 
Some real clean striking on display in that round. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway, and I'm excited to see it, Joe Rogan. Pretty good round for both guys the last time out. Now we'll see if one fighter or another can really take control of this fight. Both fighters have been aggressive, but also defensive. We'll see how they approach this next round and try to really put this fight in their favor. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Nice punch by Lee. These guys are swinging. The New Yorker, LaFlair, gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. Landed that one. Head kick. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, he moves right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by LaFlair. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. Beautiful timing on that leg kick. Oh, his face is painted with blood, Joe. The cut on that cheek not getting any better. Huge block there. And a left hand behind it. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Misses with the head kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Wow! Oh, that hit kick landed! LaFleur gets caught with that punch. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Nice right hand to the body. He just landed an outstanding leg kick. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Tagged him. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. LaFleur gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, nice. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Nice kick to the body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Wow. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh! Oh, he 
has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice uppercut. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Let's see some of the action here. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. Incredible striking on display in that round. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Outstanding kick there by LaFleur. That eyebrow cut is getting really bad. They may stop this fight. Kick to the body is there. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Nice kick there by LaFleur. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Trademark inside leg kick there by Lee. Shot is blocked there by Ryan LaFleur. And lands a good shot. Nice body kick. Pretty good straight punch there by LaFleur. Constantly a moving target. Just missed with that huge kick. Nice leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, double jab there by Lee. Nice jab by Ryan LaFleur. Just misses with the right. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. And there's the axe kick. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Oh, turning side kick. Nicely done. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. No, the left leg goes high. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Eats a, a nice right hand. Two minutes now to go. Good punch. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Unable to connect with a right hook. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Hey. 
timely defense there. Huge block for him. Throwing it to the body there. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. LeFlair gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Five seconds remain in the round. And that one was heavy. Very nice. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Oh, wow. Roundhouse Joe made that look easy. Nice leg kick. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by LaFleur. That one hurt. Tagged him. Both guys really flowing with authority. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Ryan LaFleur. Let's take a look at this kick. Excellent strike here, lands on target. There's a powerful kick to the body. Very impressive striking going on in that round. Another round in the books there. Everything you're throwing is landing. I want you to stay heavy with the... Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. All right, so the next round is underway here, Joe. A lot to like, really, on both sides tonight. But for me, it's been all about the cardio. I mean, look at these two guys, fresh as a daisy, barely sweating, and both bringing a lot of stamina into this round. So the work in the gym certainly paying dividends, whether it's training at altitude or three a days, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about the cardio of these two guys abandoning them on fight. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by LaFlair. Wham! The right and the left behind it. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Bad kick! Body kick, look at that. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Total strikes. Oh, he connects there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Looking for the left hook. Lands a strike there. LaFlair's eye looks so swollen now, Joe, that I would at least ask the question, is that a fractured orbital bone? He very well might be dealing with it. Yeah, it's, it's freak. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. He's limping. He appears to be injured. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Pretty good knee there by Lee. The New Yorker LaFlair gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Man, this dude is relentless. He just continues to pour it on. Really as aggressive as any striker on the roster. Got to be careful here, Joe, to not gas out. But you at least have to admire the approach. Very effective here in this round. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. There he swung with the haymaker. Good short punch there. That's a nice clean shot. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So again, he gets caught by that kick to the body, Joe. I know he's trying to set up his own offense, 
but at what cost? He left the body wide open, and he paid for it yet again there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Under two minutes now with which to work. Caught him with a punch. Misses a huge hook to the head. Flair gets touched by that kick there. Oh, he got tagged there. Not there. Oh, another one to the head by Lee. Oh, looks like the leg is hurt here, Joe. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. The New Yorker, LaFlair, gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Right hand upstairs. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by LaFlair. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Fifteen seconds. Oh, nice straight punch there by LaFlair. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Nice jab by Lee. What a fight. All right, so this one will go to a decision. We should have a clear winner here, Joe, just due to the amount of significant strikes he landed. The stats really tell the story in this one, and you gotta think he is really happy with what he was able to accomplish in this matchup tonight. Here's a powerful leg kick. Round three. This is a very nice shot that gets through. Excellent kicking technique. Round four. Look at the torque in this kick. Absolutely perfect technique. Lands very cleanly. And here in the final round, look at this beautiful kicking technique on display. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles.